Hello, welcome back again to my channel. So a couple days ago, uh, I heard that a new plugin has been released, and its name is the Core Framework Plugin. Um, the function of this plugin is to creating for and managing uh, the CSS framework, so um, we can create, uh, we can modify we can reuse it and yeah, as you can see on description you can manage and organize uh, the CSS framework uh, which we can apply it use it on our WordPress project um, the reason why I showing up this to you is because it has a free version um, you can sign up on their website and if you go to the dashboard um, there is a link to download the plugin and even if you don't use the WordPress, uh, let's say you have another project outside WordPress re that require the CSS framework, you can just use their uh, web app editor, um, which uh, it has same uh, layout, same interface of the plugin itself. Okay, uh, I'm gonna s uh, show you the back end, the interface of the plugin. Uh, I, I already installed it here <coughs> oh yeah forget to mention that if you if you're using bricks or oxygen uh, you need to pay for the add-on here but um, without that we still can use this um, on the brick itself I believe because I already test that but it has some um, cons uh, let me show you this first the first thing is um, there is some a sub menu which we can um, manage the categories of the CSS. Uh, yeah, this is same like other CSS framework plugin. You can set um, the color, and it has a breakpoint too, and you can create a new color, new CSS variable here, which we can use later. And the typography here, there is a two um, option which you can choose. The first is automatic. It will create um, for us the value of each the CSS variable for the font size. And if you choose the manual, yeah, you can input manually. Uh, if you already have a set of the uh, scaling typography, scaling font size, yeah, you can just put here and yeah you can just customize it uh, edit it remove it i think yeah this is very convenient okay and for spacing yeah it has same with the typography it has two options which one which is the automatic and manually yeah whether uh, if you uh, don't already if you don't have the set of the sp spacing size yeah, you can just choose automatic and it will create a variable CSS for you and then on the component menu yeah there is some default state a default component the button badge the input the link card icon avatar and of course you can create another component which you can which you will which you can which you can use later on your project and the layout yeah I think this is more about the grid the flag CSS grid a CSS flag um, yeah something like this of course you can add remove edit however you like and for design yeah there is some um, utility classes which you can use and of course you can add another here yeah this is very very good to create uh, our <coughs> CSS framework oops oh I think I need to remove this one oh yeah that's cool and then on the other yeah we have another utility you can create your own and you can change the breakpoint um to yeah to to adjust 
uh, the, the the value and the property of the CSS of the class name and um, what I got really interesting is if you can if, if you see on the component if you click edit yeah we can add a modifier for this let's say this is the default state is the button hover focus disable yeah you can like um, which one is this okay there is like hover option if you hover the button if you uh, you will have the option here and of course you can just um, we have on the right column it has the uh, option to add a property and the value of the CSS of the state of the button state which we created before so I think this is good it's very very cool I think I'm gonna like this because somehow um, a long time ago I'm using Tailwind the, the Tailwind CSS framework to uh, create a team, custom team for WordPress, and I really can control over over the, all the CSS before. And now with this, I think I can do that the similar thing with the Tailwind. Um, and don't worry uh, if you ha uh, if you um, click the preference, you can just create your prefix so your uh, CSS your class name or your CSS variable here will have the like unique uh, identifier before the class name and before the variable name and then mm, which one is this I think this is the this is the the first release of their plugin so I think this is awesome and yeah there is add on here you can uh, browse uh, let's see if we buy the bricks add-on what can we get the first scene classes yeah maybe on the editor there will be a class list showing up the scene color yeah the scene color yeah for the color palette I think the scene variable yeah official add-on yeah so if you think um, you wanna try this I think you 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 have you need to try this. Um, let's say if they have like the trial or no, I think. But anyway, um, if you click on the previous CSS, you will see that the output of your CSS uh, framework which you created, which you edited. Um, yeah, here this one. And yeah, you can export to um, to apa namanya to. So if you like um, created this one and you wanna um, use this CSS framework you created to another project, yeah, you can just like import this setting, this file setting, and then yeah, you're done. Okay, and we can option to uh, we have option to copy CSS, copy minify CSS. Yeah, that's cool. And to there is a push chain so after you um, adjust uh, after you change all this uh, configure all the CSS option here you, you need to click push chain so the chains will reflect it on the front end itself <coughs> if you see here um, call framework yeah, you can see here so this is the CSS file which they generated um, yep I think this one but uh, like I said you need to have a bricks builder add-on to be able to use um, the CSS into editor into bricks editor let me show you here um, let's edit a sample page here so if you like um, oh let me um, let me disable the the header first ok 
okay let's see this um let's apply this um layout um i'm gonna use the automatic column so let's just copy this and oops and let's pass here um let's add some text basic text here let's change to a Let's duplicate it. Let's duplicate it. All right. So, um, if you think that the CS uh, that uh, on the builder the CSS will af will reflect it, will affect it, it will load this the style from the CSS which are generated by this plugin. But you're wrong. The CSS file only loaded on the front end itself. See. Um, let's add some gap to make to, to look it better um, which one is good on spacing so um, gap classes generated gap classes okay so I need to just copy this and add a, a gap prefix if I'm not wrong get like this or let's see it's better to to see on the front end, to, to to edit the class name on the front at the front end itself. Um, let's see here. I will make it bigger. And let's see. Column means five, yeah. Gap. Mm, no. Okay. I think it should be like this. No. Uh, let's see. Generated gap class for every space variable. For every every space variable. Oh, I think maybe something like this. Gap, and this is the the actual. Uh, yeah, I think we need to use this. Ah, here, yeah. You see now. Uh, see, this is the the right class name. To add some gap, um, let's see here. I forget. Uh, I need maybe space m, space m, gap m. Ah, this, this is better. This is better. Now you can see um, on the front end the CSS file is loaded, but on the editor it's not loaded. Um, that's because yeah, we don't use the bricks uh, add-on, so the CSS file is not loaded, but if you are broke like me, you don't have money to to buy this. You can actually um, use workaround way. So basically, like uh, this, you don't need to to um, to install the plugin itself. So let me show you. Yeah, it's better to buy the add-on, but like I said, if you don't have money, uh, but you wanna uh, try this plugin into your bricks, you can just like this. Uh, don't use the plugin, but instead use the uh, web app editor from their website, and then mm, yeah, you just adjust or change. Uh, the, the CSS um, however you need and after that just uh, click the preview CSS and then copy the minified CSS and then you go back to your WordPress and uh, go to the team file editor and of course you need to use the team child and then just, just copy and, and just paste the uh, CSS code into the style sheet file, then click update and uh, let's see. Okay, here, yeah, it still use our apa namanya our uh, our classes our class name is uh, loaded. 
because yeah we already add a CSS file into uh, we add the CSS code into our style sheet file and if you take a look on the bricks editor yeah the chain now is reflected because now the team child style sheet is loaded on the editor too and let's say cap s see now it's um you're working fine i think yeah and how about yeah, yeah the the cons is the class name you need to like just copy paste one by one or if you have like um tool to generate the the classes num classes name from the css file um like see um download the css file okay let's download it and let's choose it upload it okay and we have the json file yeah it's like the manual way it's it's troublesome but yeah uh, i'm broke i need to 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 find a way to use apa namanya to import the classes name into our editor so um let's i already have the json file import and okay let's see Ooh, now it's really cool now i already have the classes name for from the file but uh, there is a new problem because if you want to make a change on here yeah you need to like copy again uh, let's say yeah, you, you you made a new change you need to copy again the um, CSS code and then you, you need to paste again into the team file editor um, on the stylesheet file yeah it's it's like troublesome but yeah but it's free hey it's free I, 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 will, I will not say anything I won't have a complaint about this but anyway um, I think you need to check out this especially the 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 the, the, the developer who, who who have a limited budget but yeah you wanna try to to try some uh, CSS framework um, to your uh, project I think this is really cool you need to try this for sure all right um, I think uh, this video is um, have cover all the most aspect of this plugin uh, uh, I, d I don't apa, uh, I'm, I'm interested to wait uh, another version of their plugin because yeah like I said this is the like first release and I'm gonna uh, I'm, in, I'm excited to, to, to see what they're capable of what the function they have more and more and yeah I hope the free <laughs> the free version uh, they don't remove that so I can st um, still use that for my project okay anyway thank you for watching and if you have any question please uh, write on the comment box down below um, happy coding I guess yeah see you on the next video bye bye